Microsoft is suing the federal government over its request for customer data. Those orders are in secret and prevent Microsoft from telling its customers about the searches. The tech giant says these warrants are unconstitutional. Justice reporter Paula Reed joins us from Washington now with more. Always nice to see you, Paula. What is Microsoft's claim here? Here, Microsoft is pushing back against the government, saying, look, you're abusing your authority. Under the law, the government can make requests to go through customer data, but keep it secret. They can ask the court for what is called a gag order if they believe that disclosing the search would potentially compromise the investigation. Microsoft is pushing back and saying, look, this is unconstitutional. Half of the requests that we're getting, they're not allowing us to inform our customers. And they said, you know, because this is an electronic space, you are abusing this right, and it's unconstitutional. If this was you know, going through a customer's car or a customer's house, they'd have a right to know. Paula, why is Microsoft suing the government now? Is there a strategy behind the timing of it all? Meg, we're seeing an increasing tension between tech and government. On the one hand, the government says, look, this is the golden age of communication. There's so much data, so much information to go through in every one of our investigations. We need your help to the greatest extent possible. But on the other hand, tech is saying, look, this is the golden age of surveillance. There's more information out there than ever before. You don't have to involve us in this. For example, in the Apple case, you don't need us to create a software to undermine our own security. And here Microsoft is saying you don't have to bring us into these orders, keeping this secret from our customers when you're rifling through their data. So it seems that part of the problem is that the laws are outdated. We tend to think of Apple as being at the front of the fight for privacy, but Microsoft has as well, right? Absolutely. This is just one of several cases that Microsoft has brought against the U.S. government. One of the most famous is called the Microsoft Ireland case. In that case, Microsoft is pushing back against the government's effort to get into a cloud in Ireland, saying they didn't go through the proper channels. But as you noted, the problem is that the law that most of these cases are based on is from 1986. And here I can show you what technology looked like in 1986. This is what you were dealing with when you were talking about customer data. It's actually on the computer. It's in a physical space. So the law just really hasn't kept up with technology. Now, of course, we have iPhones. Our, most of our information is kept on a cloud. And that's where a lot of the disputes that Microsoft has taken up with the U.S. government are, are focused on. The cloud, the fact that you know, you're, you're sort of exploiting the fact that the law doesn't speak specifically and doesn't protect the cloud. All right. Paula Reed in Washington for us. Thank you so much.